George Washington was the first you see. He once chopped down a cherry tree. President number two was B. John Adams, and there's number three. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write the Declaration late at night. So he and his wife had a great big fight, and she made him sleep on the couch at night. James Madison never had a son when he fought the War of 1812. James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio's. John Quincy Adams was number six, and it's Andrew Jackson's butt. He kicks, then Jackson learns to play politics. Next time, he's the one that the country picks. Martin Van Buren, number eight for one term shot at Chief of State. William Harrison, how do you praise that guy was dead in 30 days? John Tyler, he liked country folk, and after him came President Polk. Zachary Taylor liked to smoke his breath, killed friends whenever he spoke. 1850, really nifty, Millard Fillmore's in. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. Followed next up, Period span in full on years with James Buchanan, then the South Trust Shooting Cannon, and we've got a Civil War, a war down south in Dixie. Up the back comes old Abe Lincoln, man, that guy was really thinking, kept the United States from shrinking, saved the ship of state from sinking. Andrew Johnson's next, he has some slight defects. Congress each would impeach, so the country now elects Ulysses Simpson Grant, who would scream and rave and rant while drinking whiskey, all the risky, cause he'd spill it on his pants. It's 1877 and the Democrats would gloat, but they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote. James Garfield, someone really hated, cause he was assassinated. Chester Arthur gets instated, four years later he was traded. For Grover Cleveland, really fat, elected twice as a Democrat. Then Benjamin Harrison, after that it's William McKinley at the bat. Teddy Roosevelt charged up San Juan Hill, and President Taft, he got the bill. In 1913, Woodrow Wilson takes us into World War I. Warren Harding, he does fine, it's Calvin Coolidge next in line, and then in 1929, the market crashes, and we find it's Herbert Hoover's big debut, he gets the blame and loses to Franklin Roosevelt, President who helped us win in World War II. Harry Truman, real little human, serves two terms, and when he's done, it's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61. John F. Kennedy, he gets shot. And Lyndon Johnson takes his spot. Richard Nixon, he gets caught. And Gerald Ford fell down a lot. Jimmy Carter, like campaign trips, and Ronald Reagan's speeches. Scripts all came from famous movie clips, and President Bush said, read my lips. Two terms, Bill Clinton, then we see the same for George Bush, 43. Now at that 1500 place, Barack Obama is the brand new face.